Hello, in this video, I'm going to be going through question number one right off your unit 10 test review. This test review is set up the same as usual. There are eight questions and each question has a video that goes through the solution and reviews the key concepts that you'll need to know for the test. You have three attempts on this assignment. So if you want to try it first without watching the videos as a practice test, go ahead. Just make sure that if you do this, you view your assessment and any question that you didn't get the full points for, you watch the video on your next attempt. Your final submission should be 100%, 17 out of 17. Let's get started here with question number one, which comes from lesson 10.1 on completing the square. We want to find the value of C that makes each expression a perfect square trinomial, then write the expression as the square of a binomial. Remember that to turn x squared plus bx plus c into a perfect square, you take b divided by 2 and you square it. So our c value is b divided by 2 squared. Once you complete the square, you can then write it as the square of a binomial. And the shortcut for that is it will factor to x plus whatever b over 2 was before you squared it. So here in this problem, a our b value is negative 8. So if we use our formula c equals b over 2 squared, we need negative 8 divided by 2 squared. Simplify inside the parentheses first. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And then negative 4 squared, remember, means negative 4 times negative 4. And whenever we multiply a negative times a negative, we get a positive number. C will always be a positive number. So in this case, the value of C is 16. So you're going to find C equals 16, and you're going to drag and drop that into the box. Now that I know what C is, I'm ready to factor it into the square of a binomial. Okay, we know that it factors to x plus whatever b over 2 was before we squared it. And here, b over 2 was negative 4. So our factored form will be x minus 4 quantity squared. So find that and drag and drop it into the box. Remember that when the b is a negative value, you're going to have a negative in the middle of the square of your binomial. If the b is a positive number, then we'll have a plus sign in the square of the binomial formula. In part b, we have a positive b value here. The b is 20. And once again, using our formula, we know that c is equal to b divided by 2 squared. So here, we want to take 20 divided by 2 and square it. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 10 squared means 10 times 10, which is 100. So we want c to be equal to 100. Then, to get our factored form, it always factors to x plus b over 2 squared. So what did we have for b divided by 2 before we squared it? Well, here, 20 over 2 made 10. And b is positive here, so our factor will be x plus 10 quantity squared. So you can just find those from the choices and drag and drop them into the box.